Hello guys, welcome to my this video and today in this video we will learn all about number methods. In my previous few videos we will learn all about string methods. So in below I have noted down all number methods. So those are the num methods name and here those are the definition. So I will show you each method one by one. So first of all I will show you what is two fixed method and the syntax of two fixed method and for which purpose we use. So here I will go to the HTML file. So here I have taken one number inside this num variable. So the method syntax is first number then method name. Okay. So here for me I store this number inside this num variable and I want to apply this method in this number. So I have taken num and then the method name to fixed and I have added one number here. So what this number does so here after point there is few numbers if you don't want to display entire numbers after point so you can fix it if i write here 2 so the output will be 3.14 after point it will display only two digits okay so let's see the output first of all so here you can see 3.14 because i have fixed the digits after point which is 2. If I fixed it to 5 and save, so what will be the output? You can think and you can write in the comment section if you guess it. So here the output will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 9. So let's see the output. Here you can see after point 5 digits are displaying. So this is the use of two fixed method. And now I will discuss about the next method which is to string. So now I will open to the HTML file again and here you can see I have written the to string method syntax. So, so how it works? So let's see. So here I have taken two variables num1 and num2 and I have assigned two numbers 20 and 10. And here what I did num1 which is 20 plus num2 dot to string. So this is the syntax of this method number then the method name. So method name here to string. So what this method does? So this method convert a number into a string. So here if I write num1 plus num2 dot to string then I am converting this num2 into a string. So here it will be like this 20 which is num1 value. And after that, while I have converted into a string, so the 10, now it won't be a number. It will be a string like this. So we know we can't add number and string. So here the output will be 10 and 20. So let's see. Output is 10 and 20. But if I don't convert it like this, so then 10, it will be a number, not string. We know when it is string, then it is inside an inverted comma. But when it is number, then without inverted comma. So it is now number, it will be like this. So now I can add. So the output will be 20 plus 30, 10, it will be 30. Like this. So let's see the output 30. So here I hope you have understood what it does to string method. To string convert a number into a string value. Now I will discuss about the next method which is int. So now I will open the HTML file and I will show you. So here you can see I have added int syntax and I will explain what it does. So earlier we had seen about two string method which convert a number into a string. So percent is the opposite one like it convert a string into a number. So here I have taken num2 is a string value. Okay, so the syntax is parse int and it takes the parameter which is number, like which one you want to convert into a number. So here this num to string value I want to convert into a number. So I have written the method name and here I have passed this num2. So here it will be like this 20 and 10 because now this 10 it's not a string because parse int converted into a number. So it will be 10 plus 
20 which is 30 let's see the output 30 but if i write it without parse int so then num2 is a string value because here you can see here i have taken num2 is a string so the output will be you can guess it first so i hope you guessed it the output will be here 10 is a string so it will be like 20 and 10 if you thought this one will be the output so you are right let's see in the browser so you can see 20 10 hope guys you have understood this pass int method now in the next i will show you what is pass float method and now i will open html file and i'll show you pass float method so here i have written the syntax of pass float it is similar like pass int method but only the one difference which is it doesn't convert floated string into a number here same example i have taken only instead of pass int method i have written pass float and here num2 value i have taken 10.10 which i have added okay 10 so this is the number here some numbers after point so he a pass in a pass float method it will convert this string into a number an output will be 20 plus 10 30.10 like this so let's see the browser so here you can see the output is like that but same thing if i write using parse int method so it won't convert after point okay i mean it won't consider actually so let's see it is only given 30 so that is the difference between parse int and parse float method i have you have understood now here i will discuss the next method which is isnan and now i will open the html file and i'll show you what is isnan method so here so here you can see i have taken three variables different different like num is number str is a string value hello and boolean variable i have stored a boolean value which is true and here directly i console so what is nan method does so it just check the value is a number or not here it will check like the method syntax is nan and the parenthesis and it takes the parameter which one you want to check number or not so i have taken the three console here first one num which is number string which hello i have passed here which is a string value and the boolean one okay so here which one the number that will be false and which one not a number that will be true means the output should be here false because it's a number so here this one will be true because this is the string means not a number so output will be true and you can guess what will be the output here so you can write in the comment section if you are thinking the output will be true because this is not a number so you are wrong output will be false because this true while we write here without inverted comma so it will take as a number but actually it's a boolean value but it will take here number i mean this is nan check it's a number so the output will be false so let's see in the browser 20 is a false hello is a true and true is a false okay this one is a false hope you have understood all those methods and in the next video we will discuss about all math methods which is applicable on number but in next video i will discuss all those methods so here in this video if you find helpful so please like this video and also subscribe my channel to get more update in javascript